quick video on uh, what the road noise there. This antenna that I have set up on my balcony. Uh, I can kind of show you what I did here. Uh, just a uh, cap with a one and a half inch steel pipe. And then out of that is a uh, one and a quarter inch uh, metal conduit that runs up 10 feet up to the uh, the ballon and the uh, antenna mount and uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to try to get it a little higher uh, right now it's only uh, it's probably about two feet short of the peak of the roof so what I'm going to do is uh, take something like I have on my uh, Comet uh, CHV5 I'm going to add another four feet to it with a uh, Uh, with the one inch attached to the three quarter inch conduit. I'm going to do something like that. And uh, get it mounted back up there. I'm also going to try it in the uh, uh, dipole configuration where it's not a V, it's just going to be a straight out dipole. Uh, I think I'll get probably some reflection off the roof, but uh, the antenna will be more directional. Uh, broadside to the beam as opposed to uh, in the same direction as the legs. So let's see what we get. I'll show you what it looks like from down below. Alright, so I'm down. Uh, I was standing right up there. You can kind of see the antenna up there in its configuration. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you. Yeah, you can't really see it all too well. Um, we go over to this side though, you might be able to see how high it is in relation to the roof. That kind of gives a better perspective on uh, where we're at. Um, I think my chimney is about, uh, but about the same height as the hip of the roof. So what I'm thinking is uh, if I can get that up another four feet. Uh, I think I'm probably be in pretty decent shape. Uh, the takeoff angle on that might be kind of messed up with the, uh, the angle of the roof. Um, might be shooting too straight up, but we'll see what we get. Anyway, I'm going to try it and uh, if the takeoff angle is really bad then uh, I'll probably bring it back down and uh, put it back in a V configuration. So show what that all looks like and we'll do a uh, test when I get it done. Okay, so here's the pipe. This is the first section. It goes up through the deck and connects to a second section of just slightly smaller uh, heavy galvanized uh, conduit and you can kind of see uh, there is where it's connected and I'm going to be bolting the two pieces together and then we got another six and a half foot run where the ballon is and I guess it's about seven foot total and uh, what I did was I took a paracord and tied it between the two traps right there and there and uh, see what I did there and that side and I just made it fairly tight and I figured uh, you know I also notched the top of that uh, conduit and then wrapped the rope in uh, about three inches of gorilla tape to uh, kind of resist abrasion and I just wanted to do this video quick because I don't know if you can see it, but the, the weather's moving in again. It's supposed to rain pretty soon, and I want to get this thing done before. So, uh, all I have to do really is uh, pull this guy up. I just wanted to kind of show you how tall it was going to be before we got it up. So, it starts there and it goes up to right there, almost as tall as the house. <laughs> 
actually it is exactly as tall as the house uh, at least to the uh, second story eve second story eve i'm all i'm so tired i'm out of breath anyway uh yeah just wanted to do uh show you and uh yeah, I don't, I don't think I finished explaining. So anyway, I tied that rope so it was tight and then basically just lowered the mount until it was taut. Taut enough to support a majority of the antenna's weight. So I think that'll be all right. I can lower it a little bit if I have to. So anyway, I'm doing it this way, sectional. So if uh, you know, I get yelled at, it'll be easy to take down. All I have to do is just pull it off that pipe, lower it down like that, uh, unscrew the section, uh, the top section, and then lower that down, and nobody will be able to see it. So I'll show you this. Uh, I have it so uh, this is where the pipe stops, that first 10 foot conduit that's stuck in. This is just a stop. Hey, lights came on, good timing. Um, and then uh, this hole. I just need to twist this pipe. It should match up uh, with my other hole. There it is, right there. So I'm just going to uh, put another bolt in there. That'll keep the two from spinning against one another. And uh, that'll make it so I can turn the antenna using the outside sleeve instead of the inside so it won't just freely spin. So I'm going to get this put up. Hopefully I can get it put up where there's enough light. Uh, if not, I will show you guys tomorrow. Alright, it's up and it's looks like dead even. Maybe slightly taller than the uh, chimney. It's really hard to tell. Let's see if I can... <coughs> Yeah, yeah, it's pretty hard to tell, but uh, you can see I run, I ran uh, two lines. I did a uh, pipe clamp, and two pieces of paracord tucked to that. One's hanging down to the eave there, the corner of the, the uh, patio cover, and the other straight down to over there. I'm just going to tighten it up a bit if I can. Um, I might actually still use a tie wrap and tie it off, tie the uh, coax, uh, which is probably not a great thing to use coax as a guy wire, but you know, it's what I got. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to try this sucker out. Let's go upstairs and uh, see what kind of uh, SWR we get. Of course, living in California. That's what you get. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what uh, what happened, but you went for the really strong, readable signal. Okay, so uh, here we are on uh, 10 meters, and we're going to go basically to the edge of the band. We're at uh, SWR of 5, resistance of 63, and we're going to move up the band until we get to our lowest SWR. Which looks like it's going to be oh, it's pretty low. So if you're all the way across the band, all the way up to the other side, uh, below below 1.5. Uh, it looks like 10 meters is pretty much good to go. It looks like two one one point two SWR around the 170 or uh, the 28735 range. So I'm going to mark uh, 735 in my little notes here. And then I'm going to go to the next band down, which is going to be uh, 15, up at 21 megahertz. And let's see. Having a brain fart. I think 15 starts at 21.2. So we're at 1.3. Make sure this band plan thing. And so we're going to go 
starting at 21.2. I'm going to just roll on down the band. Whoa, that happened fast, didn't it? Looks like we're still a little, uh, a little long on that. But uh, it's as short as it gets, so uh, in order to uh, get any better than this, we're going to have to cut and drill. But uh, that's no big deal. Uh, so I'm going to be happy with this. Go all the way up to 450 at the end of the band. And it's a little high up there. 1.7. It's nicer down in the uh, at the front of the band. So uh, looks like the dip right is right about 280. SWRs resistance kind of low. It looks like the sweet spot's about 250. So I'll write that down. And SWR is uh, go 1.5 at the most, and then I forgot to mark the other one, so this one's 1.4. All right, down to 14, make 20 meters, and let's see, 20 meters is at 150. All right, 150 is 1.8. That's pretty high, but let's see, you can go up. It dips pretty fast. So if we get from about 220 or 200 up to ugh, yuck two two at 350 SWR two that sucks it's pretty bad I don't know what I can do it about well I got my tuner so I will have to deal with that 350 at two oh that kind of sucks all right let's try out uh, the big 40. All right, so where are we? Perfect. Okay, so I shortened this up a bit, and obviously I didn't do it far enough, but uh, I did shorten it up quite a bit. Now uh, my sweet spot is about 145. Actually, that's curious because before I shortened it, it was at nope, nope. Pardon me, it was at 107. I did shorten it eight full centimeters, which should have raised the megahertz by a hundred, or the kilohertz rather. So this should be uh, about 60 kilohertz higher than it is showing, but shit, whatever. Uh, it's uh, not an exact science, obviously, so I could go shorter. So that's resonance. Um, we'll climb the band here. Yeah, this is not good. I need to shorten that up. I'm pretty hosed at the top of the band at 300 I'm 3.2 3.54 friggin SWR that's un, that's ridiculous oh well we're gonna test this I'm gonna go uh, see if I can make some contacts call it good enough for now thanks for uh, watching guys take care